Hi everyone, how's it all going? And before I unbox this Beyblade, I want to thank you all for getting this to over 4,000 subscribers. That's a massive milestone. I haven't been able to thank you on a video yet, but I'm doing it now. So thank you all very much for that milestone. It's much appreciated. And if you want to support us elsewhere, I haven't done this before, but I do have another channel. I'll leave the link in the description. And I've been putting a lot of time and effort into those videos. You don't have to go over, and I don't want to do this constantly because I don't want to ram it down your throat. But it's there if you want to support us. And I'd really appreciate it if you went over there and showed us some support because I do put a lot of time and effort into those videos. And if you like what I make, I would just really appreciate it. But anyways, let's get into this unboxing. So today I'm going to be unboxing a top set rapidity Jade Jupiter. So J Jupiter, it's a random booster prize bay. It's a 4D Beyblade and I saw it on eBay for $4.99. I thought, you know what? You guys love it when I unbox the fakes. So I thought for 4,000 subscribers, I get myself a new fake, a new Metal Fight fake because I haven't unboxed a Metal Fight Beyblade for a little while. And we'll get into it. Obviously, we're waiting for the new series of Beyblades, so we have hit a bit of a roadblock. I know there's some first Beyblades I haven't unboxed on the channel, but I thought I'd get a Metal Fight one. And here's the front of the box. You've got Dynamis in the corner. You've got the Hong Lee logo there. That's how you know it's fake. You've got the back of the box where it talks about all the parts, but it's got this massive sticker over it. You've got the bottom of the box, which is obviously fake. You've got all the warnings and stuff. This just gives it away, if you never knew. Fighting skill. Why would they put most of the box in Japanese and then just have it in English on the side? Everyone knows these are fakes, but one thing I will say about this, when I got this order, the box, the reason why there's no tape and there's no launcher, is because I got it and the box was actually squished and I had to kind of bump it back up again, just so I could put the Beyblade back in there. And instead I was sent the Beyblade in this bag, in this bubble wrap. It's supposed to come with shield rubber ball, it does actually look like it comes with shield, which is pretty cool. And I guess this is this is more wide ball. I'll get it out. I wasn't expecting rubber ball because it's rare. Fakes from Metal Fight ever come with the right tip. But what we have here is the shield spin track. To be fair, you might not realise this is fake if you saw it from afar. It also comes with a black 105 spin track. Quite an interesting inclusion but they also included a metal ball i don't know if i'll add this one just because why not instead of rubber ball we'll do metal ball they always come with these metal tips fakes i don't know if they just made too many spin tracks and performance tips and they just went you know what we're just going to shove them all in there plastic wide ball and it does have that little bit of plastic coming off it where it hasn't been cut properly there we go, shield metal ball with the tool as well, which is a fake tool, but they work the same. Got the sticker sheet here as well. Don't look that bad to be honest, it's got the white back, not the yellow. They're not that bad for fake stickers, I mean I haven't peeled them yet, but it doesn't even look like I have to. It looks like it's tattooed on there, which isn't something that happens in Takara Tomi, so fair play to Hong Lin rapidity it's actually a really good fusion wheel to be fair it might have lead in it so if you're a kid i wouldn't advise getting this just because it might be unsafe but i haven't heard of any deaths due to beyblades though so i will say that and um, but i would be careful i definitely wouldn't put it in your mouth but for a fake that's a good fusion wheel now we've got the jupiter energy ring obviously it feels a bit cheaper but still it's not that bad I never had Jade Jupiter when I was younger because it was a prize bait and I just never got the Hasbro version. Here we have the face bolts. Jade Jupiter's been tattooed on there, which is actually quite good. Obviously it has a bit of uncut plastic at the bottom, but it honestly doesn't look that bad. Especially not for a fake. Some of the Metal Fight fakes were horrendous as well, like really bad. So this one's actually quite good. The Rapidity ones were quite decent before they... That's when fakes started getting a bit better. The energy ring isn't going in there very well. It is kind of just sitting on the top. 
I mean, I don't have the normal version to compare it, but you can see the shield's been a bit awkward with it as well. I don't know what's going on there. Might need, might need to click this in more for it to go in. Okay. Might be an issue with the face bubble. Oh man, what's wrong with this? Oh, please don't tell us it doesn't assemble. That'll be really disappointing. I got the flame ball yellow face bolt just for the sake of this video. It was the one that was on top. Now let's see if it actually goes in there with the, with the flame ball face bolt. It's not even assembling. Have I done something wrong here? Like, it's a jam, hang on. Maybe see if I've put it, maybe I've put it in wrong. Try it like this. It's been a while since I've like done metal fight stuff, so hang on. Here we go. Is this seriously not going in? Even with the flame ball face ball? Hang on. Oh, hang on. This isn't even assembling. Almost unbalanced, you know, like it's sticking up here. It's disappointing. I don't know if this is something I've done or it's a problem with the bay. Wait a second. So I've pressed it in more off camera where I can get a better shot of it. It looks a bit better now, so maybe this is enough to do it. Here we go. It's just spinning endlessly. Endless. Oh, come on. Oh, we. Is this actually having me on? Five hours later. Yeah. Um. Let me try family owns just before I call it the end of the video. Um. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Here we go. It's going in there. It works to find the own spin track on performance tip. Okay, so I have actually got it in. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to do it with Fang own spin track on performance tip. I wonder if this this part will work with Fang own. Hang on, Fang has got the shield in. I, I I don't know what was going wrong then. Um, clearly the shield doesn't like the J Jupiter. Oh well, I mean. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. We're going to do a test spin and a test battle. I apologise for the inconvenience, but that's genuinely my raw reaction to the situation. I thought I might have been doing something wrong, but clearly the problem would be. Test launch. With W square D. So I'm finally in. Now let's get a battle off. Um, I'm just gonna hope that these don't hit the TV. That'll be terrible if it breaks my TV. It's not going to too hard, just in case. GG for the race is finally on. Damn. Fang Leon with the victory. Descartes home is Fang Leon with Shield Metal Ball. Yeah, um, I'm gonna be honest. This is not a Beyblade I'd advise you buy. Especially if you're just going to buy the Blade Jupiter. Luckily for me, I had other Metal Fight Beyblades that I could kind of get something out of it. But yeah, the Pity's Jade Jupiter is not a recommend for me. I wouldn't buy it. Yeah, that's been really disappointing though. But thank you all very much for watching this video anyway. We'll have to do these videos just so we can see what the product's actually, actually like. And I'm not going to lie and say, oh yeah, it works fine. It's good when it clearly doesn't. So yeah, that's disappointing. Put in the comment section below if you've had other results with this Jade Jupiter. Maybe yours works. Um, but yeah, thank you all very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.